Mr. Speaker, yesterday I, in committee, I asked the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs when he first knew of the state of emergency in Wapiscot. After a painful 20-second pause, he answered last week about Thursday. The first question on this issue in this House was a month ago. The Minister's answer is truly unbelievable. When did the Prime Minister first know of this crisis, and what is he doing about this incompetent minister? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I just pointed out that on October 28th, the Muskegadog Tribal Council invoked a state of emergency for three communities. A week, or nine, ten days later, we received a request from Attawapiskat. We responded. And then on um, November the 24th, last Thursday, we received an, emer an emergency measure from uh, Ottawa Piscat. Honourable Member for St. Paul's. The Minister really doesn't know what he's talking about. This is not an isolated incident. First Nations communities across this country are in crisis. Hundreds of communities without clean running water, safe housing. This is. Mr. Speaker, the buck stops with the Prime Minister. When will the, he stop blaming others for this crisis and fix this Canadian tragedy? The Honourable Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are understanding that there are many challenges in First Nation communities. We have spent in an uh, unprecedented fashion on improving the lives of First Nations across the country. We've spent more than any other government on basic infrastructure, housing. We've involved ourselves in improving child welfare and uh, the education uh, file. And we will continue to do those things, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Westwood.